The Seattle Seahawks held their last practice on Thursday ahead of Saturday's matchup against the Arizona Cardinals. This is their last home game of the regular season at CenturyLink, and the team is ready for a big divisional matchup on the holiday weekend. As our last shot at coming home at CenturyLink, we want to try to really play a good football game, and I think it's a terrific matchup with the Cardinals. We see these guys as we always see them, explosive and tough and aggressive and a big challenge with their defensive scheme and the players that they have. And we're ready to go for it. And, uh, it's a good week, and, and we'll, uh, it's not Christmas yet. We'll, Christmas will come after the, after the football game. We'll try to make it a joyful holiday for all those that care, and that, I know that's a bunch of 12s. After dealing with a condensed schedule last week because of Thursday night football, the team welcomed the extra days of preparation for Arizona. Every day was uh, really contested, a uh, lot of quickness, a lot of, you could see the legs that were there, and, and it, it, we sustained it through the week all the way to, to you know, our Friday work today on Thursday. Um, you can tell, you know, so we, we, we gain a little bit of, a, of an advantage in just coming back. It feels, it feels good for these players to feel their legs like that. There have been some changes at right tackle throughout the season, and we're expecting some more changes again for Saturday afternoon as Gary Gilliam will return to the starting job. I mean, he's just been very much in command of the position. He's a very good communicator. He's been with us. We have that experience and that connection is uh, is clear. You know, that he, our guys really communicate well, and we'll see how that works now. We'll, we have a good we'll have a good opportunity to compare it in the next couple of weeks. Throughout the Seahawks' history, they have only gone undefeated at Century Link Field three times, and they have the opportunity to do so again on Saturday. It's important, really, in in. in uh, you know, championship years, you know, you, you really need to play great at home and you try to dominate at home and, and our guys know that and it's something that's very important to us. Uh, it's very important to us. I'd, li I'd like to get that done so we know next time we come back it's, it's playoff time and, and uh, we will have something intact that we can be very proud of and, and something to play off of and play for. So, um, I don't know, it's, it's a small thing but, um, but it's obviously significant and we set up our whole season to win our division and own that thing so that we can be here when it comes playoff time and uh, so we're not done. We got one more shot. We're going to try to max it, max it out this weekend. Looking at the health of the team, it seems to be improving as defensive end Michael Bennett practiced with the team on Thursday and the team medical staff will evaluate punter John Ryan to see if he's available to play on Saturday. Well, kickoff is set for 1:25 p.m. local. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox or as always, listen to it on the Seahawks radio network.